from April Emotions and today I'm going to show you my bridal collection. Um, I own several bridles in every style. So I have Western, Big Plus, uh, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, Baroque, Manifold. I have breast colors, uh, everything. <laughs> I also own several saddles, um, but I'm not going to show you my saddles in this video because then this will be a long video to sit out. <laughs> um, so let's start with bridal number one. So I'm going to start with my favorite category and that's my Portuguese collection, small collection. Um, I own one, two, three, four, four Portuguese bridles and I have one, two, three, four breast colors. <laughs> so uh, for every bridal I also have a breast color. So let's start with number one and that's this one. It's a, a black silver baroque bridal. I bought this on a web shop. Um, it was my first Portuguese bridal. Um, what I love about this the most is that it's my first one. I always love photo shoots and then people would have uh, gowns on and the horses would have th these nice bridles with the silver things. It, it was like jewels on a horse and I wanted one and I bought it in a set. So it's this bridle and it comes with this hat piece. This is a hackamore I used for Ian. So this does not belong on the bridle, but I use it like this right now. It didn't came only with this, it also came with nose piece and a hat piece, so the front piece. And I'm going to show you that right now. And it's freaking beautiful. Um, this is the hat nose piece. I don't know how I can call it, um, but this was on the bridle. I took it off so I could ride with a hackamore for Ian. Also this bridle came with a breast collar and the breast collar is really simple in Baroque tech because you have them a lot bigger. Uh, but I use something that's tiny a little bit so I can also use it on my dressage saddle and it would look nice because I didn't have a Portuguese saddle or a Baroque saddle. so. I wanted to match with my dressed saddle, so I used the I used the smaller one, and it also has black and silver details, and it came as a set. So I had the breast collar, the bridle, the reins, and the front piece for on the bridle. So I bought the black with silver bridle, and then my fascination for Portuguese riding and academic of riding started. Um, uh, then we went on vacation to Portugal itself and then I thought why normal people will get a souvenir out of the country they go to but I thought why would I get a souvenir if I can get a bridal in the home country and then I found this small horse shop with a from a man and he made his own tech so I went there and I fell in love. Instead, when I came in, I saw this brown with gold t details bridle and I thought, oh my God, I'm sold. <laughs> and I didn't even know the price yet. It looks like this. It's a brown bridle with gold details and it has a cafeston on it. And the cafeston means that you have rings on the nose to actually give signals on the horse to bend in his body so like houses in side passes and all from the ground and it can also help you to learn a horse to ride on a bit so i absolutely love this bridle i actually used it a lot on your carry when i uh, started teaching him to come down with his head instead of walking like a chihuahua. I don't know why, but since I was little, I like the shape of a French lady. So I don't know, I feel connected somehow with everything that has a French lady on it. So, and this actually has small details, like in the back, it has a small French lady on it. And um, when I got it in my hand and I saw it, I thought, 
it was a sign. <laughs> I didn't leave it with the bridal. I also got this beautiful dress color. And um, it's also brown with gold details. It's handmade from the same store, which means that every bridal and breast color is unique. And that's something I love because I love having things that others can't. So <laughs> then I'm going to show you the cutest thing on earth. <laughs> and that's the bridal I bought for Dora. So here's the bridal. It's also black with silver details because uh, black gold doesn't really fit Dora because she's also black. And this is the long reins. They're, I think, four meters. So uh, long reins also have the baroque details. I found this breast color, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, secondhand. And I was looking for a breast color that was a bit big and that made my horse look tough. So I found this big breast color that was black and tough, good leather for such a cheap price. And it was nearby. So uh, I asked my mom, can we pick it up? So we jumped in a car and I picked it up. And this is what it looks like. Uh, let me, oh, it's like this. So this is in the front and this goes to your gear like under the legs and for the price i bought it it's incredible i have one baroque bridal left and this just came in and i was waiting for that to came in so i could record this video because if that was missing this video and my collection weren't complete so I think 10 weeks ago I graduated and I want to give myself a gift. <laughs> um, and I found this website from Sweden and it had incredible products. I ordered my gift, my graduation gift on there and the waiting was worth it because I finally got the package this morning and when I packed it out, I was just staring at it like this is insane <laughs> this is the complete set so it has two reins so it has click reins and click reins are very useful in working hands so you can take them off and take them on again the hat piece has this gorgeous golden buckles and these golden buckles have little crowns on them and i think that's amazing i also bought on the same website this bit and this bit is gorgeous and it looks a little bit scary because it's so big and there's so much happening with the, you know, the round things and everything. But I actually must say that your carry, especially your carry, walks so good on it. And I was thinking when I put it on because the first thing why I bought it was for photo shoots and everything that it looks pretty and for the made of wool style shoots. And when I actually fit it, the carry, his reaction was so easy and he was just a little bit chewing on it. And But he accepted in seconds. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try ride with it because he was so still in his mouth. And when I rode with it, it was incredible. He was so light and I actually got the feeling that he really liked the bit. So that was my Portuguese collection and now we're going to switch to my Bitless collection. I have three Bitless bridles and I all use them. And um, let's start with the first one. The first one is this black. One black with silver details and it's a small hackamore. So uh, the nose bends actually not, it's a bit padded but it's not hard. It has this cute decoration on it with a silver studs. My second and my third bitless bridal, I bought them on horse event, which is a huge uh, horse event here in the Netherlands. The first bridal I bought in 2017 is this awesome brown bitless bridal, which is actually a side pool, so it's it works as a side pool, but it has these gorgeous details from, uh, yeah, like a cow coat cow leather i don't know how you say it but yeah 
that's this one. I really love it. And um, the brown is a little bit, I don't know, it has a yellow tone in it. And I think that's really beautiful. So it's not like dark brown. It's also not cognac. It's a little bit yellow tone-ish, warm brown. <laughs> this is my third Bitless Bridal. And it's also a side pool. And it's from the same uh, brand as the other side pool. It's also this really gorgeous color of brown. This is not like yellow tone, it's more reddish. And that's, I think I like this one more than the yellow tones. Um, it's a bit Western inspired, I think, because it also has these letters around the leather uh, to keep it in place. And the leather is stamped, which means there's figures in the leather. Um, with depth in it and I really 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 like it. I also got a present of my friend for my birthday later on for this bridal and it's a Spanish Moscurero and it's also have these red details and it's really really beautiful. So sometimes I write like this. So with two letters like here you can actually make it sit on the front piece of your bridal so it's just like this so right now i'm going to switch to my western category and my western category is really small I, it's only two bridles and um i actually don't ride western very often i just do it on trail rides because i bought a saddle and it sits really good so for a long trail ride i use the western saddle with the western bridle because it needs to match <laughs> so the first western bridle i have i actually got this with the western saddle i bought i bought them in the set so i had the saddle the western pad the girt and this bridle with bits and um this bridle was actually very fancy when i first saw it it was like uh it, it it was old you know but after a good cleaning and with a lot of um yeah the, the tech so the tech stays smooth when i put it there on it was a whole complete different bridle and now i actually really love it i think it's really cute with all the details it has silver it had some beads on it and uh, there's just so much happening it looks very cute and i love the buckles so um yeah this bridal is actually not mine it's my mother's my mother's bought it for ian a long time ago um and we also use a hackamore on this one for ian because then there were no english head pieces that came without a uh, nose nose bands so it's brown and it has silver details which you see ra rarely and I use it when I ride with my western saddle and um, it came with split reins and I actually knotted them down because riding with split reins is such a challenge for me so I don't do that um, but I love this one besides that I use a lot of these bridles my main bridle is the rumbo miculum and the rumbo miculum is just so easy you can use it for so many things so when i need to switch qu quickly from bitless to bit or from um a, a cafeson to a bit or whatever i use my rumbo miculum and it's just like in dressage style it's really pretty when i ride with my english saddle and I actually own two of them. I have one full for your carry and top shot and one cup for Eastern and Ian. So uh, yeah, the bit is not on it right now because I was too lazy to put it on. So this is the last bridal I had to show you. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and you really enjoyed watching my bridal collection. I will put the link from the things I know where I bought it. I will put the link below so you can actually check the links out in the shops where i bought it if you have any ideas for my next video or you want to see my setup collection let me know or follow me on aqui motions on instagram to check out more